I hate clowns, but I like mimes now. Hey, I'm Super Senpai. Today, we're gonna be teaching me about Pokemon Unite's Mr. Mime. Up front, I was really skeptical of him at first. I was clownophobia, so I was just like, I don't wanna touch that. I don't wanna be support. I don't like all that stuff. And wow. Mr. Mom is my only chan now. If you guys don't know how to play Pokemon Unite, again, I have a guide video here. I'll shoot, boop, right there. And then, of course, uh, my last video talk about Wiggly Cup, I talk about the pains of how I'm not happy with the pay to win situation. But for now, today, it's all about Mr. Mom, and we want to talk about how amazing he is and why Unite Database is wrong. It is not a D tier, it is an A tier at least, and maybe even an S tier if you know what the f you're doing. On paper, Mr. Mom is a supporter. But is he really a supporter? Mr. Mime is a supporting special attacker, and I use him for neither of them. <laughs> Why is- Okay, I kinda use a special attack, but that's not the biggest reason I use him. I use him to be a dick. That's the end of the day. Mr. Mime is a dick, and that's what makes him amazing. There is a reason. All physical Pokemon hate Mr. Mime, and I f***ing love it. First time I played against Mr. Mime, he locked me in some barriers, and I beat the living out of me. And I was like, what the f***? Like, I'm a Garchomp. I'm like, I, I can't do- from then, I decided to buy him, play him, and then I idolized him. That's how amazing Mr. Mime was. He's not a supporter, he's a d and I love him for that. No wonder all those hot girls in high school used to love those d guys. I like those d guys. <laughs> so filter, if a move attacks him, sometimes it misses. Perfectly fine, special ability, every third attack, he throws you, fine, that's the basic stuff. Meaty, juicy stuff, fake out. Knock a Pokemon. And my focus is a favorite light screen. This is a big important part is your right stick on your switch control is really important. Do not do auto targeting for this because that's what makes Mr. Mime really weak. It's because the game doesn't understand how to use barriers automatically. If you know how to use them properly, it's game over for your opponent because they can't do because you just run around. They can't predict where the walls are coming, they can't predict when to stop. That's what makes Mr. Mime competitive. Don't let the game decide. You have to control with the right sticks. The cool part is, the, there's a good combo where in early stages you get fake out so you can hit hard first, and then you start saying barriers and then knock Pokemon back and forth into the wall so they can't escape, so you just finish them up with your basic attack. And now up for the upgrades. Confusion is a really amazing move. It pushes back an opponent, and if you use it with the light screen, boom, 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 boom. You make him unconscious a bit and just finish the job. As for the psychic, I've heard if you use psychic, I've used it before, with the screens, it blows up, it hurts them. It's not that effective in my point of view because psychic, you have to be near the area. For Mr. Mime, you don't want anybody touching you and that's what makes him super effective. Especially with Confusion, it does double damage when you hit Confusion, boom, into a wall, boom. They get hurt. Now as for the other move, Barrier and Gar Swap. If you're playing Mr. Mime, you play Barrier. If you're doing Gar Swap, I don't think you should play Mr. Mime at all because I, I'm not a big fan. Like, yes, you boost up your teammate or you, you lower increase your opponent, but at the end of the day, it's like, build a wall. That's the whole point of Mr. Mime. Mr. Mime is like Donald Trump if he actually did the cool part of barriers, you can put two of them together and sandwich your Pokemon so they're stuck in there. And your team is like, thank you for the buffet! And then there's a Unite move. I've never seen anyone die when I used it. I just use it as an escape method to run away when going down. But like, I put barriers around and hopefully it does more damage because it's trapped in there, but it's not, it's, eh, it's not the goal, Mr. Mime. Items. As Mr. Mime is a tank, you need to focus on the health stuff. Um, and again, because of how hard it is to beat Mr. Mime because of all the berries he puts up and runs away, you want to be built as a tank from Ranger. So you build into more assault vests, more HP stuff. As well as that, go into muscle band, go into attack too. I know he's a special attacker because of confusion, but your main goal is knock, knock, and boop, 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 at the job done. I, I feel like I like every Pokemon that lap, so you know, I. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm biased. Because your opponent, again, just like Wigglytuff, is about stalling them, but this one's even more effective than that because your goal is distance those stalls. Because Wigglytuff, you have to be close for the sleep. This one is stay away, COVID style, six feet. As for battle items, eject button. I don't want to say anything else. It's, it's the key, as you said, barrier, eject button your way out. GG, have fun. That's how you play Mr. Mime, really fun and effective. I will also say slow smoke might be hilarious because if you do a barrier, slow smoke, run away, your opponent's like, Ugh! so you know, try that. I didn't get damage effectiveness, but that is a hilarious result. Play style. Now, when you start off the game, you go straight for fake out. Start beating Pokemon until you get to level three. Because level three is where you get barriers. And then when you get the barriers, 
have fun, start setting up the walls, try to level up as, as much as you can, use yourself as the bait for your teammates, trap one of your opponents, put them in the wall, all two, all three, go beat up that Pokemon and move on. That's how you effectively play Mr. Mime. And then you just do that over and over again, level up. You want to just, again, set the trap, beat the out of them, move on. You're not here to jungle per se, you can jungle a little bit, but your goal is to be annoying, let your opponents not level up faster than you, and make sure you keep track of everyone, because if someone goes past your barriers, you are screwed. And again, when you finally get to the level where you get confusion, uh, doesn't matter if it's light screen or uh, barriers, your job's to set up the wall. Two, boom, confusion. Three, ah, uh, done. That's how you play Mr. Mime. And it's hilarious because it stops so much momentum of so many physical attackers. It's just so much fun to play Mr. Mime. My favorite part is when you have such a huge advantage. You set up barriers, your, your opponents can't go to like Zapdos, can't go to any major Pokemon in the jungle, can't go to your teammates. But my favorite one, just like Wigglytuff. Go to their home base where you're in the advantage, put up the barriers, they can't get past the barriers, let your teammates keep scoring over and over again. GG, that's how you play Mr. Mime to make sure. Oh, this is my wall. As for Pokemon you have difficulty with, it's Rangers and actually Speedsters. The surprising part is, even if you fight against support, because of how much distance you have, it doesn't matter to Mr. Mime. But the fact that Rangers, if they can catch Mr. Mime in the distance and keep going at you, is a really problematic, especially if they do status ailments on you, slowing you down, you're gonna be a sitting duck. And the other part, Speedster, is if the Speedster gets through your wall barriers, you're fucked really hard. So. You need to make sure you are set that there's enough distance around you, you know your areas, and if you don't, hopefully you have a teammate that can watch your back. That's how you effectively feel comfortable with Mr. Mime, but be careful of speedsters, because they will always camp, like f***ing Gengar, or you're a little f like Pikachu, watch out for those f As for Pokemon who love Mr. Mime, all physical attackers will love Mr. Mime. They love being your teammate because you set up a wall, it's so much easier for them to beat down on them. Special attackers like it too. Actually, everyone loves a Mr. Mime because it just says, F you for running away, you're mine now. Now I understand why Ash's mom has a Mr. Mime. It's just so lovable. He's a freak of nature and I love him. Anyways, thank you for watching how to play Mr. Mime like a pro. He is by far an A tier at least, if not an S tier, if you know what you're doing. So please tell me what's the next Pokemon you want to see. I think I know what to say, but you know, I would like to hear your point of view. And again, if you're a part of the Mr. Mime Club, join the club. Mime time all the time. Rhyme, vime, boom, bam, bam, bam. Mr. Mime. Oh, God, my neck.